Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or to my channel for the first time if this is your first time. Hey, what's up? My name is Amy and I am a planner. I also own a shop called See Amy Draw. Um, today's video, I kind of just wanted to give an update because I have not given much of an update on my planner system, especially since I adopted this little chunk, this cutie passport, which I'll show y'all how I'm using that one. Um, but first, I kind of wanted to show y'all a bit of an update of my Hobonichi cousin. So let's see, last month was August. I don't think I've recorded or shown much since like September. The summer was kind of crazy, but I think I'll just do... Sorry, no, last month was September, not August. <laughs> Everything is just kind of flipped. But I think I'll just do like a little flip of my dailies uh, because I love to share those. And... Yeah, so September, I kind of got back into doing more like small little doodles, used a little bit of washi and some stickers here and there, but I was kind of really just trying to figure out again how I wanted to use this planner because as you'll see in these pages, I kind of did a little bit of a to-do list. Um, I do like that look and having everything all in one place is really nice. The to-do list also really helps fill in the page if you're a little bit overwhelmed by the larger A5 size of this notebook. Um, however, I've started to do some more like journaling in a different sense. It's more of like, um, I don't know if y'all have heard of the Artist's Way book. It's kind of making its rounds on social media, but I was influenced to pick it up and I kind of started doing it. Um, I've kind of fallen a little bit off the wagon, but um, one of the things that you do through the practices is called morning pages. So you're supposed to write three pages of just every morning before you start your day of just like whatever is going through your head. And so it's really strange at first doing that, but it's all about getting out all the negative voices and, um, you know, the negativity that you have on yourself so and to kind of clear your mind before this day starts and uh, kind of give yourself a little bit of a head start because I notice you know I could be a little harsh on myself sometimes like I'm sure most people are um, but yeah it's helped me tremendously but in doing that I have noticed that I'm writing a lot more in these pages as you'll see <laughs> not so much these this week was kind of like a prep week for PBC, uh, the Planner Boss Collective Sale, which just finished all the orders, dropped them off today. I have one more, it's a vendor order, but that's all I have. Um, I'm all caught up, I'm so excited. So in September, we had that sale, and so the week leading up to it is blank, which y'all know me, I don't mind blank pages at all. I just, as long as I get back into it eventually, then that's all that matters to me. I also watched Scream, Scream for the first time. Um, I've seen like Saw and I think like maybe Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Not a lot of like scary movies. Freddy Krueger, I've seen Freddy Krueger, those movies, but Scream I'd never seen and I had no like real desire to watch it. And then a bunch of people were like, no, you need to watch it. And it is officially, I'm proud to say, my most favorite <laughs> Halloween movie and franchise. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. Anyhow, so yes, this week is blank, which is fine. It is what it is. <laughs> and then moving into this, I think, was the week before PBC because it started, the sale started on the 20, <laughs> the 22nd, which was a Friday. Mine technically started on Thursday for my IRL Patreon dudes. If you're here watching this, thank you all so much for your support. Um, I have a Patreon if anyone is interested. I'm hoping to just beef up a little bit more of what I'm sharing over there now that I am gone through a lot of changes and things are slowly starting to settle down. I'll kind of get into that a little bit, but anyhow, <laughs> I started using started using this little Flamemo printer and you'll see it mostly in October but I love it it's just a thermal printer so yes I know be careful about leaving my planner somewhere hot but honestly the paper is so thin that if I had to reprint something I'm totally fine with that and then just layering it on top of it 
I do love this. I got this off of um, Amazon. I can leave a link below. I absolutely love it. I think I've had it for I've had it for over a year now. Works great. And I'm still, I think, on my first roll of printer paper. Anyhow, this is PVC weekend. <laughs> Nothing happened in here. Um, it was just mass chaos. Um, as soon as PVC was done, I realized, oh man, um, I was so behind. September was just so crazy and I just didn't expect PVC to be as big as it was. Um, and then I had my Patreon happy mail dudes. I somehow magically, I don't know how, but through the grace of coffee and caffeine alone, maybe <laughs> I had to get, I got all of my IRL happy mail designed, print, cut, packaged, and mailed all in one day. I've never done that before. It usually takes me about four days, but I think I just really love the artwork so much from what I release as the digital. So if you're one of my Patreons, you have access to digitals from all of the months. So no matter when you sign up, you can have access to the digital downloads from months prior. And I just love the digital so much that I just kind of went with it when I created or designed the Happy Mail for that month. And it turned out so cute. I was so happy with it. And I guess I just was so excited to get it out that I just, yeah, I just, I got it all done in one day. Um, this is a little preview. I started doing like these little banner, little stickers for my Patreon, for my IRL dudes. And I really love how they look and how they just fit into different spaces. I can show y'all a couple in my weekly section. My weekly is... Mm, yes, needs to be caught up on a little bit more. So anyways, that was the end of September. The last couple days were left blank. Just like I said, PBC was chaotic. Work has been kind of crazy. So um, fortunately, I'm able to kind of like juggle my own schedule with my job. But also, I am still behind. It's still possible for me to get behind. Uh, and now we enter into October. And today is the 11th, October 11th. So... Yeah, I'm actually technically caught up. I haven't done yesterday, so I've been doing my journaling in the morning. And so this, I started doing the morning pages, I wanna say towards the end. It was towards the end of September. I started handwriting them, but then I noticed my hand was like hurting a lot. So I actually, I actually started a notion like a long time ago. And then I went back to it and I just like deleted everything and then just started a whole like workspace or whatever it's called for the Artist Way book. Um, and I have one page that has all of the entries that I've done. And I just, every morning I will come down, I'll get on my computer and I will start a new one. And then I'll just type for about 15, 20 minutes. It's so much easier for me than to write because I don't want my hand worn out by the time I wanted to, by the time I want to journal or plan for my day because I also do that in the morning. So now we enter into October where I've fully embraced the use of this fun little printer um, that I bought myself. And yes, so I started off Love Dwight with a pumpkin head. Like, oh my gosh, what better way to kick off October than that? I did start learning how to play chess, Abby and I did. I don't remember what started it, but it was fun. She wrote me this cute little note. I challenge you in chess. <laughs> we did recently purchased like an actual chess board. We've been playing through an app on um, the phone, but the chess board's a lot of fun too. It's a little bit, it's all very challenging, but it's a lot of fun. And here I printed out, I just, first I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a fun little Halloween meme for each day, but then you'll see that kind of evolves and changes. I did stick with the little doodles. I added a little color to my, my doodles. And the way I did these ones is I actually drew or I kind of colored these blobs first and then I went back and traced over them with a Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen. And if you're curious what markers I'm using, they're actually mild liners. They're the Zebra Mild Liner Highlighters. This one, let's see if I can figure out the name. Vermilion is the orange color. And then this is just, it's all written in Japanese. This was like, I purchased this a really long time ago, but they have these gorgeous like Disney princess mild liners. I think I ended up buying the whole pack. 
but I want to say that one is the same as this one here, which is gold. So vermilion and gold. I kind of stuck with these two colors. I really love them together. They're very fall, very Halloween-y. And they just look so fun as just like little pops of color on the pages. And then I've also incorporated some washi tape. This is washi tape from a order from, I think, Yoseka Stationery. I can't remember, but it was so cute. I wonder if I can find it on their website. And then obviously I got some Coffee Monster Co. washi tape down here. Another funny little Halloween meme. And then uh, some No White Space stickers washi tape. I love this Haunted Mansion Toy Story crossover. It's so cute. And then this was a very tough day for me. So this little like come at me bro meme was like totally perfect. And I actually printed those out before. Um the day so I just kind of had them tucked in the back here I have a little adhesive pocket from Talk Coffee Monster Co I had them tucked in here and I was like oh this one's perfect and so I just went with that one on this Thursday I included a photo I got this off of like Google images but it is a tasting plate from Rodney Scott's Whole Hog Barbecue which is a place that we had um, a work meeting at and it was so much fun they were such a good group um, their food is amazing and they brought us out like a tasting plate, which was like so awesome. So we got to stuff ourselves and it was delicious. And then on the 6th is when I found out a dear friend of mine had passed and it was very difficult. I kind of stopped journaling. Actually, um, this Thursday here I had not done and I was just really behind on PVC. I was behind on a lot of things, a lot of work things. I haven't gone to the office in like two weeks and uh, my friend passed away. Um, and so I decided to use this day. She actually passed on the 5th, but I used the 6th as a day to kind of commemorate everything um, that I was kind of feeling and going through and just like recalling and all those fun stories and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm like slowly starting to work myself back into like my social circles and replying to text messages and stuff. But um, yeah, uh, it's been tough. Yeah, I will leave it at that. Um, and then also my husband was out of town. He went on a beach trip. He left on Thursday, so he wasn't home with me when I found out. And then I had to go through the long weekend without him because my kids were also home on Friday, they um, were out of school for about five days. They had a break and yeah, it was really hard kind of going through a lot of it um, without him here um, because he was a really good friend. She's actually the reason why um, my husband and I met. And so it was hard going through all of that without him. And then, you know, also taking care of my kids, but we had a, fun little weekend. We went to the market. I tried to keep myself really busy. Went to the market on Saturday morning. Um, just had some lots of cute little puppy snuggles with Luke and Scout. And then my husband came home on Sunday and I was so happy. He got home so super early, like way earlier than I thought he was. And it just made me feel so good. And I just kind of took the day to just kind of slow down and <laughs> even though I was behind and stressed out I had so much I still have so much I need to do but um yeah um went homecoming dress shopping for Caitlin we found her the perfect dress it's so pretty can't wait for her to um go to the dance with her boyfriend and then Monday um the kids are still home from school and yeah, I have got just Tuesday now, which I've only printed out. Uh, I actually printed this picture out on accident, but it's a Five Leaf Clover. It is the cover for the song Five Leaf Clover by um, Luke Combs. And I absolutely love it. I've been listening to it pretty much on repeat. Um, so yeah, that's October so far in my Hobonichi Cousin. I absolutely love this planner. I have this planner for next year already. I'm super excited which I need to re-record a planner like lineup for y'all. These are my weeks. I don't think anything is new since the last time I shared. I actually have a um, time lapse of me doing this spread on my Instagram if you want to check that out. It was 
a lot of fun. The hardest thing without doing those is I try not to like, I turn my planner a lot and I hunch over. It's just why I haven't done like very many like plan with me's or things like that. Um, so it's very difficult for me to just keep my planner anchored and to do that. But anyhow, um, this was like from Patreon. I was going to use the August Patreon stickers to do this spread and clearly I didn't finish. But that matches the, um, the work hard what's what what's it called this kit here it was the work hard rest harder collection in my shop so those are really all the updates i have for my hobonichi cousin if you have any questions about anything do let me know and like i said i do have this planner already um in my hands for 2024 and i'm so excited i love adding all the vinyls throughout the year to this it just this is going to be the most um you know amazing keepsake I think that I have given myself in a very long time I love it so much um and then my passport which I promise I will give an update on so I don't have any cards in here I do need to kind of like outfit it a little bit better but and I also have not started using this first insert so I'm using the this cover is from Aura Stell. it's absolutely gor gorgeous I love it so much um and this passport notebook and then this one here which I use for my dailies are also from Oristel and you get them in a four pack. I think I had a, a video where I covered this but if not um, let me know and I can make one for y'all. This is just a blank grid notebook which I totally intended on using as either like a commonplace notebook or just like a um, running to-do list type thing but I have not started using it. It is the uh, blank notebook syndrome and then yeah, so this is my daily, which is what I wanted to share with y'all. I covered, I decorated the cover, which I love. And then, so each daily notebook is good for one month. So I have my monthly up front here. Some more pictures. It's the same picture my husband passed out. Um, and then I'm pretty much using it, as you can see on this side, I plan out my day um, mostly by like the time. And um, on this side, I keep like to-do lists and stuff. And it is turning out to be uh, the perfect amount of space. Some days get a little bit longer than others. I don't necessarily use it on the weekends, but I will go back and add like what I did on the weekend. So here I did that here, <laughs> did nothing. Uh, and then I just add some stickers and whatnot after I've planned um, or after I've completed my day, just to make sure I don't need to use any of the extra space to write any notes down or anything like that. Um, and this has been working out really great. I absolutely love this. I love the size. I will take it with me if I go anywhere, but I haven't really like gone too much anywhere so far this month. Cause like I said, um, I'm just really behind. I haven't gone to the office in a while. I need to do that, but I mostly just plan my day in the morning and it helps me kind of clear and set the tone for the day. So I know what has to get done. And then I go about my day and then throughout the day I'll come back and I will check off some things, make sure that my appointments get written down and whatnot. So it's been perfect for that. And then the back here, I just have this wallet insert I got from Bomb Kuen. And then this is like the folder from Traveler's Company from last year that I just keep some of my most regularly used stickers in. And then this is a sticker release um, notebook here. That is also Traveler's Company, and I love it. I just have some random stickers in here right now, and that's pretty much all I use it for. So aside from this, really the only other planner I am using pretty actively is my um, plotter, my bible size plotter. I will take this with me just because it's so much, this is a little bit friendlier to carry around than this guy. Um, I have thought about slimming this down, but I just haven't done it yet. Anyhow, um, I use this for the monthly and I will show you that because I love the size of the boxes in these monthlies. Like I can fit so much stuff in here. And um, this is the one place where I, I continue to always come back to and write down any appointments and things. So when I have to plan my day in this, I typically do pull this out and reference it just to make sure. Or we have like a dry erase calendar in the hallway that I'll update. So yeah, I love this little plotter notebook. This is really the only section that I use. I do have my monthlies for next year. 
I keep some like schedules and stuff back here. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to bring the plotter into 2024 with me and as well as the um, other two planners in my system right now. I do have several others that I'm adding, but I will share those in like a 2024 setup video um, just so y'all can see what I got, how I plan to use them and whatnot. So that is everything. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to um, drop any links to anything and to answer any questions that y'all might have. And in the meantime, I am going to go back to doodling some ideas that have been stuck in my head for a while. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if this is kind of the type of overview y'all like to see, if I just give you an overview of all of my planners, or if you prefer to have individual videos for each one, so I can dedicate a little bit more time explaining how I use them, I think. I don't know how long is this, 20 minutes so far? That's pretty decent length. That's how I try to keep them. Um, so yeah, I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.